in my experience, which is 20 years as an independent consultant, more years as well in the industry, uh, technical sales and things for installers. So I like to think that I've done quite a few roles, quite often poacher turned gamekeeper now. It's almost, it's almost never that I would see the correct settings um, in that all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. It's strange to say that it's that rare. I, I find it very surprising to say that it's that rare. Um, I guess people will often call a consultant in if they're not happy with their system and it needs to be looked at. They need somebody to write a report on it or to fault find it, fix it, whatever. So maybe I get the calls with the, for the unsatisfactory systems. That may be self-fulfilling in, in that sense. But even on other systems that I go and see just in day-to-day -day work, very often everything is left at factory default. And it has been for 10 or 20 or 30 years. So, yeah, I think I could put my hand on my heart and say that it almost never happens. The things that I intend to cover at IFSEC, yeah. um, I want them to be visual because putting PowerPoint up with lots of words on is tremendously boring and most people are likely to fall asleep. Consequently, if we put pictures up of real situations, here's how to do it wrong, here's how to do it right, hopefully people can see the difference immediately. If they're technical, they'll understand why. If they're not technical people, then at least they'll look at it and they will realise that there is a difference and that they need to look for it to be done properly on their system, on the system that they're buying or something like that. So hopefully um, of interest to the installers that will be doing the work, but also to the end users that will be buying the systems and they would like to know that their money is being very well spent and they're getting the best result that they can. So that's really the, the, uh, the two elements of the audience that I'd like to aim at.